Hey, what's up, guys? We're back with some Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2. And it finally came out with a new update. So I'm gonna come check it out. It's been a little while since I played, so I might be a little rusty. But I believe they have a new map now. Uh, yeah. So this one's like more World War II based. Has all the trenches and stuff in it. So we could check this one out then. I'm not sure if we'll check it out right now. I think that might be the only new map. Yeah, it's the only new map that I recognize as of right now. Yeah. Actually, we'll, we'll just play on this one for a majority of the time. Uh, let's check out the... Check out the new units. So I'm pretty sure the Roman Archer is new. The Roman General is new. I don't recognize those. Uh, nothing in ancient Greece. Okay, Mother of All Hens, that is definitely new. Um, I think that might be it for that one. Heroes, nothing new for heroes. World War II, nothing new for that either. Evil, still nothing new for evil. I'm waiting to get new evil things, because, like, new evil units, I think that'd be so cool. Like, uh, zombies are cool in general, but... I feel like just having the whole genre of evil units battling each other, like, that would just be wicked. Let's go to medieval. Don't have any new medieval units yet. 18th century. Let's see. Nope, just red coat. Fantasy. Just a troll. Uh, Egypt. Still Egypt. Or Egyptian and uh, the other thing. And then uh, the customs are just the custom ones that I built so far. So we got the Romans. We'll go to the Roman archers. We'll check out the Roman archers versus what's the other archer that we have? Is it in medieval? Is that where the other? Yeah, regular archer. So let we'll do we'll do. We'll do 50 starting off and then we'll do team 2 50 and we'll do Roman times Roman archer we'll see what the difference is um, something that I do want them to change is being able to see small amounts of units so one problem I have with this game is seeing where the units are when it's a small amount but as you can see in order for me to even see where I place these units I have to make it a large number. And if you never played this game yet, or you never heard of this game, this is basically a battle simulator that allows you to make any quantity of units you want. So I could do like millions of millions of units and it will not lag my computer at all. Even though I do have a a pretty beefy computer if you have like a more like a laptop or something you could probably get away with doing a hundred thousand units and having a big battle and not lag which is pretty cool because not many not many games can get away with that so we'll do a hundred and a hundred for now we'll set them both on attack and i feel like that should be pretty good so let's start that Okay, so before we actually start the battle, I just want to take a quick look at this landscape of the new map. So as you can see, we got trenches, and we can get really in detail with this map if we want to later on. And put, like, uh, people in the trenches and just have a full-on battle going on in this field, which I think will be pretty cool. It's a nice map, nice World War II era map. But let's start this battle. And see who will win when it comes to the regular archers versus the Roman archers, wherever they are. Okay, so we got one arch, one set of archers over here, one set of archers over here. I'm hoping they will reach each other. Now they got to move forward a little bit. Probably because there's like a bow in the land, like a little bit of a hill. They might not be able to see each other yet. 
Oh, they're gonna have to get pretty close, huh? I'm gonna have to go to a flatter land. Make them more even. So let's take a look. These are the medieval archers. Then these ones are the Roman archers. So there you go. You got like a pretty cool comparison right there. But I might redo this on flatter WAN to give it a more even match between the two units. Because as of right now, I mean, we are pretty even, not going to lie. This might take a little while, though. So, just going to probably speed it up. So the Roman Archer won that one, but like I said, I feel like the terrain could have played a role in that. So I'll take them both to a flatter area of land, and I'll do it again and see who wins, you know, kind of best two out of three type thing. Okay, so I got them on flat land. I got them lined up better too, and I lowered the numbers down to 50. That way it shouldn't take as long. So let's start this real quick and see how long it lasts. Alright, so for the second time, the Roman Archer won. No surprise there. And towards the end, you can see uh, there was a huge group of Roman Archers over here. Didn't really take many of them out. So, if we look at the numbers, you see that only 20 of them died. Pretty crazy. So, let's check out the rest of the units that this update had to offer. Okay, so the other Roman unit that this update had to offer is the General. Which, in my mind, I kind of put them up against the Knight. Because when I think of, like, higher-ups in, like, a hierarchy, the Knight is, like, top-tier medieval, you know, uh, in a hierarchy. And then a Roman General, you know, he's up there. So, uh, to me, in comparison, Knight was, like, equal to the Roman general. But I don't know how they're going to compare when they go to battle. And we're also back in the new map. So, anyway, let's start the battle. See who takes it. The Roman generals are a lot faster. I think the Knights might be stronger. Hard to tell. Uh, I'm not sure... Who died? Oh, okay. Never mind. All the Roman generals are still alive. That is crazy. <laughs> they took out all the knights. And I thought the knights were crazy strong. That is ridiculous. Okay. We know that they're a pretty strong unit. Alright, so let's tech. Yeah. Let's test. <laughs> Let's test the next unit that this update had to offer. Okay, so in this update, we got this new animal called the mother of all hens. I have no idea what it does. All I know is it's a very big hen, as you can see, compared to the knights. I, I'm putting it up against the knights just to see how strong it's going to be. I don't know if it's going to be strong. I don't know if it's going to be weak. I don't know if it's going to shoot things out of it. I, I don't know. So let's test it out. If it defeats the knights, I'm going to put it up against the Roman generals. So far, how is I saying? One kill. Okay, don't look like it's doing too hot. Oh, never mind, it won. But it has a lot of blood on it. I thought it would, like, shoot things out, like... When, with the name of, like, Mother of All Hens, you know, you, you think, like, a mother, so you think it would, like, shoot out, like, big, or no, you think it would shoot out, like, little chicks? Like, maybe it would shoot out, like, like, the battle ducks, or maybe the other hens that shoot out eggs, you know? That'd be pretty cool. That'd be a cool idea. So let's put this up against the Roman general. Alright, so we got ten Roman generals. Versus one giant chicken. Let's go. 
See if the Roman generals can defeat it. Okay. It's looking promising. Looks like they might have this in the bag. It's a very bloody chicken. But they're down. They're on, the only one guy left. Dang. Alright. Alright, I see you. I see you, mother of all hens. Pretty OP hen. Let's add more generals then. Let's see if one chicken can withstand 80 of the Roman generals. Alright, so we have them come from all sides. They might be able to take the chicken out this time. Alright, yeah, that, that was pretty easy. I kind of figured. Only one general died, so we'll, we'll make it a little bit harder. Alright, so we got all of the new units on one team. We got the archers, we got the the Roman uh, commanders or whatever. Generals, sorry. Couldn't think of it. Then we got the chickens, or the hens, uh, whatever you want to call them. Proper name is the mother of all hens. So we only got four of the hens. We got like, um, was it a hundred? Yeah, a hundred of the generals and a thousand of the archers. Going against close to 400,000 zombies. So they should be able to take them, hopefully. Or at least withstand most of them. If they start falling behind, I'll help them out with my godly powers. But let's start this battle and we'll see how it goes. All right, so it looks like these troops are having some issues keeping up with all the zombies. So you know what? I think I'm going to jump in and I'm going to help them out a little bit. Throwing some nukes. Uh, did that take any out? Oh, uh, yeah, I killed, I killed the rest of the team. <laughs> all right, well, they were going to die anyway, but... I think that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one.